So you're looking for a simple way to track your finances in Notion. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I do it using this finance tracker Notion template that helps me track all my income and expenses easily, understand my finances with automated reports, and optimize everything by tracking budgets, goals, savings, recurring expenses, and more, all in one simple system. All right, so here's the main dashboard of this template from where you can find a set of helpful financial tools here on the left. These will allow you to customize the system to your needs by defining and tracking spending budgets, income goals, savings, categories of income and expenses, recurring transactions, and subscriptions. All that to get this complete dashboard that gives you a clear overview of your finances starting off with the different accounts you may have. These could be bank, wallets, or even cash accounts, but also savings account for things that matter to you and even debt accounts. And you can access details of each of these accounts by clicking on them and see key figures and all related transactions. Now below that, you'll find a yearly report section, which is super powerful to understand how your financial year is doing so far. It includes a clear yearly overview on the left and all the details by months on the right. Now, if you don't want to see all months here, you can simply archive them like so and retrieve them from the archive tab. But in any case, you'll still have all the information on this yearly dashboard here with all related months, all related transactions, and even a yearly summary of income and expenses by category. Now, when it comes to actually adding your income and expenses to the system, this can be done super easily in two different ways. From this month's section on your dashboard, you can simply click on different buttons on the left to add new transactions to the current months. And these transactions will appear on this section here in the different tabs. So let's say we want to add a new income for our freelance business. I can click the Add Income button, name it, specify the amount, select the account where I receive this income, and add the corresponding category. And just like that, I can see the transactions I just added here, and the monthly report is automatically updated. Now, the other way to add transactions is from the month page. And here I have the same quick actions buttons on the left, then all the transactions for the months, and even a monthly summary of my income and expenses by category. Very useful to understand how you earn and spend your money every month. Now, remember I mentioned recurring transactions earlier, well, this template allows you to pre-configure those recurring transactions just once and add them the easiest way possible. And to do so, you just need to open the month page you want, click the View Recurring Transactions button, select the transaction you want, and drag them while holding the Option or Alt key to copy everything. And boom, all details are added. You just need to specify the dates of the transactions and you're done. Such a time saver for recurring transactions. Now back to our dashboard, you also have a quick overview of how you spent and earned your money for the current months with expense and income categories. And below that, you'll be able to define and track monthly spending budgets and income goals. You'll just need to specify the amount you want for each category, and the system will automatically show how much of your budgets you've already spent and if you reach or not your income goals for the month. And this really makes a difference when you're willing to improve your finances. Now, there's a couple of things I also want to show you, starting with the subscription tracker that you can find here. It's a super powerful tool that will tell you how much you spend every month on your subscriptions, how much you spend in total for each of them, and when are the next renewal dates. I can tell you I saved a lot of money since I started tracking those. And finally, the last thing I want to show you is this dashboard here. It allows you to quickly add new transactions from your phone using the buttons on the monthly report here. You can save this page as a widget to access it on the go. Now, I hope this gives you a clear idea of how you could use Notion to start tracking your finances the right way. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on this video and I'll be glad to answer you. Cheers.